So I'm doing work in the house, in the fish room, uh, fish tanks and stuff. And this little guy um, keeps attacking my feet if I leave him on the floor. So I had to walk around with him in my hands because otherwise he'll attack my feet constantly, you know? No biting, okay? Ah, ah, ah. Don't bite. Sit. Sit. A little shitter. Look, that's you. Fat jamboroni. It's my little house hippo. You wanna see how he attacks my feet? <laughs> it's funny, it's funny as hell. <laughs> he goes crazy, he's like <laughs> and trying to attack my feet the whole time. Like and he bite biting really hard, it hurts. <laughs> Produced by Mali. I got new fish, and uh, these fish were dropped off uh, to me by my friend Michael, who is uh, Fish Easy on YouTube. Uh, you guys probably seen his channel. I talk about him quite a bit. Uh, these are German blue rams. Let me zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see the fish a bit better. Really high quality, locally bred here in Ontario, and I got 10 of them. Uh, four of these are going to Herrera, which is Playco Fever on YouTube, and six of these fish are staying in my facility to produce some fry for you guys and for some local pet stores and so on and so forth. So I'm really excited. Michael's already breeding these. I really like this fish. It's probably one of my most favorite fish in the world, all-time favorites. So I'm really happy and I'm really grateful for my friend Michael for picking these up from his friend Rob, who is also here in Ontario. So these are also um, um, connections through the local fish club. So it's a really good idea to be a part of a local fish club and to join in the community because these kind of perks happen when you are part of the fish community at, uh, in, your, in your own area. Like these fish usually come from um, Israel or Europe uh, for the market here in Canada. Usually the ones that come from Europe and Israel are not the healthiest. Uh, they do have a lot of times genetic issues and uh, other issues where the fish die really quickly. Uh, they have, uh, you know, like they have been pumped with hormones sometimes to enhance their color, all these problems. And uh, when you're buying locally bred fish like these, you do not have any of these problems. And that's one of the main reasons why I bought these fish. Uh, it was very difficult for me to find this particular type of fish here in my country. Locally, uh, all the fish are imports and uh, I did resort to buying some imported fish a few months back or probably a year back, which, uh, no, more than a year now, almost two years back. They all died. So uh, I'm really happy that uh, I found a local source and a really healthy fish. These are going to go into quarantine in this tank and uh, they will stay in this tank for eight weeks. Uh, minus the four fish that are going to play co fever. So without further ado, let's open this bag and uh, drip acclimate them and put them in the tank. So I'm gonna put these guys in the tank. Um, there's five exact pairs, so five males and five females. And uh, so when my friend Herrera comes to pick up his four fish, uh, his two pairs, so I'm just gonna catch two of the pairs probably the ones that pair up initially I'll probably give to him but uh, I can't leave these guys in a bag I don't know when he's gonna come to pick them up and uh, he's busy today right now with his family stuff so I am gonna release them into the tank and uh, start their quarantine fish seem to be completely fine with the water that's going in uh, they are showing a lot of uh, color for fish that are already stressed I'm excited to get these guys to color up because uh, they are quite spectacular. So let's just get them out. Come on guys, time for you to explore your new environment. And there you go. There's the first one. I'm not too worried. I mean, initially when I first got them, I was a little concerned, but once I saw the fish and how well they're doing, I'm not worried. They're gonna be fine in my tank. There's one out, two out. That's a pair right there. It's probably gonna go to a Pleco fever. So that's another male. Uh, there's two more females, 
another female, another male, another female, a big male, and I think the last one is a male as well. Yep, that's a male. Very nice. Whoa, gorgeous fish. Uh, there are my super reds that I just picked up last week, also in quarantine in this particular tank. Um, I didn't set up a brand new tank for these guys because they did not come from a pet store and I am not too worried about them, their health because they did not come from a pet store. Essentially, um, but I'm still gonna quarantine them for eight weeks. I'm not gonna introduce them to my general population, but so far they're looking very nice. Uh, there is no visible signs of anything. Uh, they're very healthy. They're already showing signs of uh, uh, sexual behavior. These guys should pair up in the coming days. Oh, there's one already down there establishing his territory. Look, look at this. These are gorgeous fish. I'm really happy. Really good quality too. Thank you so much, Michael, for picking them up for me. You are the absolute best. And uh, yeah, let me get the camera out of here and get some close-ups of the fish. These guys just got released into the tank. These two are males. Um, I'm expecting these to spawn within a month. I'll give them a month before they're ready to spawn. They are quite spectacular. They just got into the tank. Like right now, they've been in here for like less than a minute. You guys just saw me bag, uh, break the bag and put them in. These are the new super eyes that I picked up. I have a pair. Um, I do have to give fry to a few different people that are on my waiting list now. Um, I know Michael's one of them. Uh, Michael's probably like, I'm on that waiting list. Um, and uh, I think uh, Bill is on uh, one of them. A few people from the local aquarium club actually are looking for super red long fins. So I'm hoping to get some fries from them as well. So stay tuned for that. There'll be updates coming up. This update will be coming out. A bunch of new updates will be coming out. So stay tuned. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you find value, please subscribe and hit that notification so you do not miss out on the cool videos that I'm bringing and when they get uploaded, you get a notification. And also share my channel with all your networks. It really does help me out. And uh, if you have any questions or anything else you wanna say, comment below, the comment section is open for you guys. And uh, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you guys on the next video and uh, God bless you guys. Oh, so gorgeous. So gorgeous. They are so beautiful. Look at this. That's a beautiful fish. Don't bite. Sit. 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 Oi, sit. <laughs> fucking rabbit. Oi, oi, oi. That is. Come here. Come. Sit. 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 Good boy. There you go. Good job. Good job. Add a boy. Good job, good job. Sit, up, sit, sit. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right. You can, you can get some pettings. Okay, sit, sit. Ugh, he's a handful.